Why is the EFCC not the one looking at this SGF matter? If it gets to that point, it will be done. But it seems not to have got to that point now. After the investigation, after the panel concludes its work, and there is anything for the EFCC to look at, I'm sure it will be passed to the well, What can you tell us about this NIA story? I mean, there were many, many fronts, there were many, many sides to the story. What is the side that, you know, is safe enough for you to tell us? Because I'm sure you will tell us it's on the investigation. <laughs> you have answered the question. But you know, there's a saying that uh, the day an elephant dies, you see all sorts of knives and cutlasses because people will come to cut their own share. That's what happened. This is the biggest volume of cash that has ever been discovered. So all sorts of stories, wild, unfounded, concocted, conjectured, all sorts of stories came. No, but there must be a reason why the president has ordered that only yes. you know, three-man committee... And that's what the investigation will unravel. That's why you need that investigation. Part. Does the money belong to the NIA? Th that was the claim by the NIA. Don't forget that there were also other claims. The River State government said it was his money. So that's why there has to be an investigation. So will the River State government be invited? If necessary. Do you have details of how the committee is going to carry out its no, work? No, no, I don't because I'm not a member. But the committee, judging from the men of integrity that constitute it, Vice President, NSA, Attorney General, I'm sure they are going to release a report that is going to be clearly unbiased. Will the public be privy to that report? I'm sure it will. 14 days counting from when? Will it include public holidays? There is no public holiday ahead, I guess. Weekends? Well, the, uh, the, the panel will determine, but it says in 14 days. Well, but usually when that you know, statement is issued, what are we to expect? We, we have to have an idea. I, 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 if you ask me, I think it will be 14 running days, but I don't know. I don't know. The committee will know, but I suspect it will be 14 running days. Uh, it was released on 19th April. So, April ends on 30th, that's 11 days, plus 3 in May. It could be May 3rd or 4th. That's what I suppose. Well, you cannot suppose because you released that statement. Yes, you yes, must be, you yes must but I'm not sure a member of the committee. And, uh, but one thing we can be sure of is when the committee concludes its work, within the time frame, time frame has been given, that report will be released. Will the public be privy to it? The first thing is, the president set up the committee. It will report to the president. And then when the president has studied and it's time to then announce what the decision is, I'm sure the public will be privy to it. I want to ask you, do you think that Mr. Do you think Engineer Babacher should have stepped aside a long time ago? I, you asked me this on this program before, and I said the decision was his own. And I still stand by that. There are some people, when allegations come up, they offer to step aside, and they do. If he had wanted to do that, he could have done. The decision was his own. Let's go to Lagos now and take questions from Kimba. Mr. Additional, uh, considering that the vice president did uh, investigate the uh, uh, new, I mean, that would be the EFCC boss case, and uh, he was given that Clarence, if you call it that, or I don't, I don't know what you've chosen to call it, but he was given that bill of health. What credibility do you see coming out of this investigative panel set up again to look at the SGS, the SGS case? Well, the, the, the first thing I consider when I hear of a panel is to look at those who constitute the panel and see what kind of people they are. These are three people that I know are people of integrity. They are people of credibility. The vice president, national security advisor, the attorney general of the federation. They are as credible as you can have them in Nigeria. And I believe that they will do what is fair, what is just, and what is right. Well, people say that having a constituted committee like that to look at uh, this panel to look at this case is already dead on arrival and they are subscribing that you must only go the way of an independent investigator it, 
is an opinion. And those who have proffered that opinion have a right to the opinion. It doesn't make them completely right. It's just an opinion. You know, you did say that the decision was that of the SGF to have stepped down while he was accused by the Senate, even though he was invited several times, but that didn't happen. But many also argue that the decision on the part of the judges was that of the NJC, but we saw what eventually happened. So they think that how could it be that when it comes to that of judges, we're moving quickly in the dead of the night with swift and precision, but when it comes to this now involving the presidency, there's a panel that is set up. And many also think that, isn't this against the principle of natural justice? How will uh, officials in the presidency put up a panel to investigate other officials in the same presidency? What do you expect? They're going to clear them. Nothing meaningful will come out of that. No, no, that, that, that your question is prejudging things. What if, uh, if the panel concludes its work and they're not cleared? So, your, your, that your question is prejudging uh, what is on ground. Well, we well, need to let that investigative panel work and work without any kind of uh, fetters, work without any kind of prejudice. Well, we will let them work. I mean, when we see the result, when yeah. we hear the result, that we can then review the process. But they're working, no matter what we say, and they will keep working. They've got two weeks, as your memo did say. But then, doesn't it go against the principle of natural justice? Why should that office in the same presidency be set up to look into, because they say, is there any committee in the presidency previously that has cleared or that has indicted any member in the executive recently? You, 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 under this presidency, there, there hasn't been too many committees set up. So we don't have the, 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 the benefit of, uh, or, 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 of something that has happened to use to determine what will happen again. No, no. And uh, you can't compare one presidency with the other. This is one presidency that is very strong on integrity. And whatever, whatever you hear coming from this presidency, you can take it to the bank. So how do you see this matter eventually wrapping up? That is not a question for me to answer because I'm an insider. But what, one thing I can assure is that this matter will be fairly looked at. And whatever comes out will be the truth and nothing but the truth. What do you say to those who believe that, you know, this panel should not have been set up in the first place and independent investigative agencies should have been allowed to look at it i'll, I'll say to them that they have rights to their opinions but their opinions doesn't necessarily constitute the gospel but they have right to it well mr femi Adishino is a senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity you're welcome thank, <laughs> thank you, you for coming on sunrise daily thank you the program continues in just a moment. Do stay with us.